Sup, y'all. It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold. And you know what, boys? It's been a while. Oh my god, that's my first character with the Oh, man. That's my first guy. Oh, man. What a fucking day. Yeah. Oh, bro, this was such a big day. This was such a drama day. Oh, my God. People were so fucking pissed today. Or this day. Oh, man. I would add things to this. Wash, why would I wash my hands? <laughs> this one. People, people, well, would I, people well, drag this one into the hands? ground. Boys. It's been over three weeks, I think. Since I've done a transmog competition, it's been yep. a long time. Oh, it's and we're the back. EU one Guys, too. As promised from yesterday, it's been a while, but we're back again to do another mount off. I've been a little bit farther behind. I'm genuinely nervous about losing them. Yeah. We'll see what we've got. We'll see our competitors, and I think that we'll be uh, pleasantly surprised. This is for you, boys. Bro, that transmog looks so good. One day I'll get it. King Mechagon, Guess what's boys. in the box, boys? King Mechagon, yeah. boys. All right, y'all ready? This is BFA. Bro, why does this play like I died? It, like, this should say, like, 1990 to 2022. Or, or something like that. You know what I mean? What the fuck, man? Oh, the Asmon, we miss you. Wait, really? I mean, I feel like... Are things really different? I don't know. No, man, you changed. I don't know, man. I will be honest. I actually have such a hard time dealing with managing expectations from multiple groups of people. I think that anybody who's watched my stream for an extended period of time has probably a very deep understanding of this. But anyone who's new probably doesn't. So, like, for example, uh, I'll use an example of, like, the Genshin Impact streams. I just said I was going to play the game, right, at some point. It's like, yeah, sure, I'll play the game, see what it's like. I don't really have a time frame for this or anything like that. It's just like, yeah, I'll try the game out one day and uh, we'll see what happens. But people push me on it and it makes me uncomfortable. Now, is this my fault for saying it? Is it their fault for pushing me on it? Who cares? At the end of the day, it doesn't matter. Uh, it, it, it's still stressful for me. So, it, it, I, I don't know, I, I have a lot to say about this. Don't cry because it's over. What do you mean? It's like, oh my God. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? It's over? The BFN classic era of Asmongold was his golden age. The sword runs at the start of every stream. Mount offs, transmog comps, raids with the viewers, achievement and mount farming, welfare Wednesday. Now, every time I open the stream, he is commenting about some drama, playing games that everybody is already playing. His personality is the same, but the streams aren't nearly as good as they once were. Streams during WAD and Legion were my personal peak. He turned into a different streamer during BFA. I did. Absolutely. Aw, shit, here we go again. I'm genuinely super curious where the fuck you guys come from. Is this some kind of secret Discord brigade that tries to create some false narrative on this sub? The guy games way more than he reacts. It's not just games you want to watch anymore. Be honest. Yeah, I, I actually play games all the time. Let's go and take a look at my last streams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, ten streams. Okay, this is a one-hour stream. 
So I, I only had, uh, it was just, just chatting. Okay, this is kind of a, all right, so we have one hour of just chatting. This one here. Okay, so we have just chatting here. Hey, hey, ah, 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 ah. Just chatting here for three hours. And then gaming, Bleak Faith, Code Vein, World of Warcraft, Valorant for six hours. Oh, that's from today. Yeah, that's from today's stream, of course. Okay, so this is Bleak Faith for four hours, just chatting for two hours. So majority gaming again. This is literally only gaming for six solid hours. This is just chatting for two hours. And here we go. This is all bleak faith. Solid bleak faith stream for five hours. Just chatting and bleak faith again for just about four hours. A little bit more just chatting versus uh, bleak faith. Oh, Elden Ring into Code Vein. Look at that. Wow, guys. Look at that. It's because people look at the Asmogold account, not Zach Rar. Well, all the, the, the fucking data, the metrics for that are gone. Because it's it only stores them for a certain period of time. I haven't streamed on the channel for a long time. Let's, let's look at a few more, okay? One more. Five more. World of Warcraft. And then Code Vein again. For six hours. Just chatting for a little bit over three hours and then a little bit of World of Warcraft. Why is it so much bigger? Just chatting into Wu Long for the majority of the stream, an 11 hour stream, nine hours of which, eight hours of which, excuse me, were gaming. Wu Long for the majority of the stream. Wu Long for the entire stream. Bleak Faith for half of the stream. A little bit less than half. Some real bullshit, guys. Wu Long was so good, did you beat it? No, it wasn't, but yes, I did. So, yeah. For WoW Endies, not playing WoW equals not, not playing. Exactly. I find it to be, um, well, let me, let me read the rest of the comments first, okay? I can't even watch the alt stream because it's too late in my time zone. This is fair. Totally fucking fair. Um, I, I am an idiot that fucks up my schedule. I, I, I wish I wasn't like this, but it's like a fucking physiological mental disorder. Yeah, 100%. Uh, Asmongold greater than Zach Rar. Rip in peace, you'll never be forgotten. BFA was the good times. Brand new sentence? Yeah, nobody said that before. Yeah, there you go. This is running in a memoriam video. Exactly. The reason he didn't turn it, return to the main channel is because he makes so much promises, comes back to the main channel, just feels pressure unconsciously. The more promises made it worse. Um, I don't know. It, it kind of sucks. And like, this is just like, this is me just talking about it, right? Is that it, it kind of sucks that people put such a big emphasis on the main channel and me streaming on the main channel and they treat anything that I do like that's on my second channel like it, it's not like it's not real or it's not happening. I, I don't get it. I don't under I don't understand it. it doesn't make sense to me. And It's just, yeah, I, I, I guess it's just, like, it, it kind of sucks because it's like anything that I do, any success I have on the channel, anything like that, just doesn't matter. Why? I mean, I'm clearly enjoying myself. And it's like, I have friends of mine that put pressure on me to do it. Even my dad will ask me, he's like, when are you going to go back to the main channel? You should do your main channel again. It's like, what is this? Why can't I just enjoy what I want to do? And it's just, 
it sucks. It sucks that like I, I'm I'm happy, I'm I'm comfortable, I'm enjoying myself. And people constantly want to push me towards something that is like their idea of what they want me to do. But it's clearly something that makes me uncomfortable. But they don't understand why it makes me uncomfortable. So they just pretend like that part doesn't exist. And again, I understand. People are here to be entertained. And with viewers, it, I don't really, it doesn't bother me that much. Right? Because it's just like, you guys are just viewers. But it's weird whenever I have people that I, I think should know me better. That just seemingly don't. Like, I, I don't know. I, I don't understand it. Like, what is this? I just want to be me. I just want to make content and just enjoy myself. And it, it sucks to constantly have that brought up and, and everything. And I will say it's stupid that I don't stream on my main channel. It is massively fucking stupid. It's a weird mental hang-up that I have, and I could sit down and explain it and go through it and everything like that. But at the end of the day, people won't understand because I've never been able to explain it to somebody to where they understand because after they hear it, they say, okay, well, then when are you going to go on the main channel? But yes, I just, I don't get it. So coming on to Reddit, they said you prefer you on the other channel because they claim there's a lot of censorship here. Oh, well, there's a lot of censorship on the main channel, too. Yeah, that's there's nothing there's nothing new with that. Yeah, I'll ban you. I'll ban you on there, too. Don't worry about it. Yeah, you talk shit on there. You get banned over there, too. The same in both channels. Yeah, I mean, so I don't, I don't know what this guy's talking about. So, but yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know. I, I just it's weird to have like people that like are like supposed to be like friends of mine and like people have my best interests to like constantly try to pressure me into something that clearly stresses me out a lot. And I, I mean, I don't know, like there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of emotional energy that went into streaming on my main channel. And I understand that for a lot of people, they might've enjoyed the wow content a lot more. And I think that makes a lot of sense because like a lot of this content that you see here, right? I mean, like everybody liked Elden Ring, but for the most part, you didn't see, you didn't really see anything in here besides, I, I think, wow. Yeah, this is just people that liked watching the wow streams because like, I remember back then, I don't want to just like sit around and like talk about my stream all day, you know, but like, I remember back then whenever I was doing the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, the only WoW streams. I was so stressed out every single day. And people were constantly saying that I, there was no new content. It's fucking boring. And I was getting the same comments then uh, that people give me now. And it was super, super stressful. And at a certain point, like you ask yourself, like, why are you doing something that makes you unhappy. And it, it's very frustrating for me that there's so many people out there that think it's in my best interest to push myself in a direction that has made me unhappy systematically for five years. And seemingly nobody cares about that. And you guys as viewers, by the way, this is not your responsibility. You are here just, just for entertainment. If you're not entertained, go watch somebody else. But I'm talking about people that I know. So yeah, it, it, it sucks. Probably have someone talk to you about this. Why would I... I don't understand. Like, so... Everything is fine for me. The only problem that I have is whenever I'm confronted with other people. So how am I the problem if whenever I'm doing what I like to do, I'm happy? What the hell? Yeah, being a character, creating can be way to, yeah, it, it's odd. Let me read a few comments. 
I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I think React content's more divisive than the other content people either love or hate, whereas with games, not true at all. I totally disagree with that. I see what you're saying, but I disagree. The reason why is that Lost Ark and Diablo Immortal were extremely divisive content. They were much more divisive than any of my React content. And I would even say, like, historically, to a lesser extent, the Final Fantasy content was very d d uh, uh, divisive. Whereas we'll treat this chat like diary. Well, no, I mean, like, I, I think that it's okay to express how you feel about things. Absolutely. The part about, like, expressing things as a diary is saying things that you'll regret later on. Like, I don't think I'll really regret saying this. I, I think I've already said it before. And I think that it's fair to you guys as viewers to get more of an inside perspective on things because you've been viewers of mine for a long time. So I'm not, yeah, it, it, it's not, this isn't, a, you know, diary time or anything like that, but it's okay to talk about how you feel sometimes too. I think there's a middle ground for that. I refused to watch your Final Fantasy streams at the time, but a few months later I started playing and actually enjoyed the game. I had a bit of wild brain. Yeah, there's a lot of people that did. The only people working on a job to under, understanding your mental hangups. I don't care if it was dream. I, I don't know. It, it's a lot of react content and discussion has been part of your stream since extremely early on. Difference is playing different bunch of games wasn't as common early on. Yeah. And like all, all I'm saying is that one day I will probably go back to my main channel or do something like that. But like for you guys, like again, this is just, it, it's like, you know, I think a lot of people that are EU viewers are like, go back to the main channel. I don't want to stay up to fucking like two in the morning and watch you. This is fucking annoying. I totally understand that. But other than that, yeah, I mean, I, it, it, it sucks because I feel like a lot of times, a lot of times my happiness ends whenever other people begin. And it sucks because, like, I used to have my mom that I could talk to about this, but I can't do that anymore. So it's like, I just have to deal with it. And that's, it is what it is, that's life. But it fucking sucks. I will say, however, I think these are mainly people that just want to watch me play WoW again. I don't think they really give a fuck about the the type of content they just they, they don't want to watch me play some weeb dark souls bullshit they don't want to see me go and play lost fart they want to see me play world of warcraft like i've always fucking played and they want to see me get the mounts like i've always fucking got them and that's it it's got nothing to do with anything else now i understand guys Maybe we'll do a little bit more WoW streams. Play WoW like God intended. The most important question would be, are you less stressed now? Am I less stressed? Let me answer that with one question, with one, with one number. Active days, seven of seven. I stream every single day. I never did that on my main channel. Yeah, I believe you end your stream to eat and sleep. Yeah, I thought about doing a third stream where I can just stream myself sleeping too. Streaming super stressful, you don't owe anyone an explanation. Streaming can be super stressful. But I think in a way... To be fair, I was a little bit stressed today. Because I had kind of a bad stream yesterday. I was just in a bad mood, I was irritated. And, and, and like... I was just in a weird state of mind yesterday. But, you know, it, it's like, that's just, that's how it is, right? I mean, you're not going to have, like, a W day every day. Sometimes, some days you just have, like, a weird day, and, like, it is whatever. So, like, sometimes I'll come back, so bleak that doo-doo? No. <laughs> no, that's not why. Okay? And, um, it's just how, it's, that happens. Like, I mean, you're not going to have a good day every single day. It's fine. But anyway, the point is that, yeah, I was, like, a little bit stressed today. But it doesn't matter, you just do it. And I'm so glad I turned on the stream. I'm having a great time. I'm enjoying myself. I'm happy. And I'm in I'll end the stream later on tonight. I'll make myself a steak. I'll watch anime and I'll go to bed. And you know, I'll follow up on some business things I need to take care of and you know, like different opportunities, etc. And and everything's gonna be great. And it's so weird for me to feel like 
it, it it's so weird because like I know how I felt with streaming back in like two years ago, three years ago. I was constantly stressed. Like I was stressed out. Like I would wake up at like six in the morning and I couldn't go back to bed because I was so stressed. It was awful. So bad. And I talked to friends of mine that have, um, that have this same problem. And it's like, oh, they only stream a couple of days. He's gaslighting us, chat. He just forgot the password. I'm on to him. Yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, so I'll talk to them about like how they get so stressed out about their stream and, and everything. And it's weird to me because like, I, I just, I, I don't, I don't have that problem at all anymore. Yeah, I, I, I feel good. Don't you for your main? Yes, I did for my main channel. I absolutely did. And so I stopped streaming on it because it was stressing me out so much. I don't know how I can get myself to stream on it again. Um, I probably will at some point. I don't know. But yeah, um, that's, that's a bit of real talk about it. Uh, I don't really like sharing this a whole lot, but I think since a lot of people say stuff like this, I'll, I'll let you guys know where I'm at since you are my viewers. You know, people watch. And so, yeah, 